my beautifuls welcome back to another video i hope you guys are having a great day or night depending on where you are at in today's video as you can see on my sign it is time for boxy charm again so this is my april box and i did already take a peek in here just to see and here is the card peace love and boxy And then it looks like I got the number two edition. Is that where you find that at? I've been noticing that people have been pointing that out. And then of course the description of everything I got is on this card as well. I'm going to take everything out in order as it is on the card today. So the first thing is the Pur Pure, the Complexion Authority Festival Palette. So here's that. And this retails for $36. It's very pretty. I did take the tape off already to take a look at it. And then it did come with some Get A Grip eyeshadow primer. And then here is the palette out of the packaging. You open it up, there's a nice big mirror. It says treat every day like a festival. And then here are all of the shades. It is a very beautiful palette, but I am undecided at the moment if I am going to keep it or not. So we will discuss that later because honestly, a lot of the shades in here, I just feel like I already have in my collection. So I feel like maybe someone else could get use out of it. The next thing in here is the Luxie The Summer Days three piece brush set. And you get a large shader brush, a small shader brush, and a small contouring brush. So those are super pretty, and I saw a bunch of people opening these, and I am going to keep the brushes for sure. You guys know I have a brush problem, and I do not like to let go of my brushes, so I am definitely going to keep this brush set. And I love them. They are pink. They're kind of like ombre. And they feel very matte and they are just very pretty. So I am very excited for these. And these retail for $28. Next in here, I got the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. And this retails for $27. I got mine in Summer Haze. And honestly, this I'm not sure if I want to keep either. It's very pretty, but I just don't know if I'm going to like it. You know what, let's go ahead and swatch it real quick so I can decide. I literally just had the hardest time getting this open and ruined like two or three of my nails. But I finally got it open. That was one of the most ridiculous things I've ever had to open. But here it is. And it's very pretty. So let me just swatch it on my arm. I don't know. What do you guys think? Can you even see it? Let's mess with the lighting for a minute. I still don't think you guys can see it very well. There, I put it over my tattoo. So there it is. It's actually a lot lighter than I thought. So yeah, I guess I will use this one. It is pretty. I just thought it was going to be a lot darker than what it is. And I am going to say I like how the container turns so that it stays clean in there that's pretty cool i did go ahead and put that highlighter on my cheeks and it does look very very pretty and although i like it and it's very glowy i kind of wish that i had gotten the one that everybody got that was like purple or whatever how it was like gold but then it shifted purple i don't know that one was really pretty but i do like it so i will keep it so next in here, I got the Butter London Power Up Mascara. This retails for $20. There's the packaging. 
if you guys can see it. Very, very big packaging. And there is the applicator. So let's go ahead and put this on because I actually do not have any mascara on yet. In love with this mascara, seriously. Where has this been my whole life? Moving on to the last thing in my BoxyCharm is the Starlux Ultra Gem Long Wear Eye Pencil. So the brand is Starlux. And this retails for $19. So here it is. I will say I'm kind of sad because I do have a ton of eyeliners. And some people got lip gloss, and I love lip gloss. So I kind of wish that I would have gotten a lip gloss rather than an eyeliner. So since this is not open or anything, what I'm going to say is if you got a lip gloss in your BoxyCharm and you don't want it and it has not been opened yet and you would like to switch it out for this eyeliner, let me know. Otherwise, I will figure something else out to do with it. But that actually completes my box. And I do love it. The only thing is I am not going to use this eyeliner. And I'm not quite sure what I want to do with this palette. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, I will say overall, I am very happy with my box. I do love that eyeshadow palette, but I honestly just don't see myself using it because I do have so many of those shades already. So, I'm probably just going to hold on to that for a future giveaway and the eyeliner too, unless I do find someone who happens to come across my video and is like, oh, I got a lip gloss. I'll trade you for the eyeliner. Otherwise, I'll probably just hold on to that for a future giveaway as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me unbox my BoxyCharm. I was super excited for it and the brushes honestly made it all worth it. Everything in the box was nice, but the brushes, I love my brushes. And real quick while I have you guys here, I just wanted to point out that everything on my face today besides my eyeliner and my lip gloss is the Shop Miss A stuff from my video the other day. I am absolutely loving this primer and BB cream. The way it looks on my skin, I feel like it just makes me look so healthy and glowy. I'm in love. And one more thing that I wanted to touch base on is the upcoming giveaway. So I have a few giveaways in the works and I told you guys when I hit 300 subscribers, we are going to do a giveaway. We are not at 300 yet, but we are getting very close. So that one will be coming. But the one that I am currently doing, I'm still going through some things for this upcoming giveaway. And this giveaway is just to honor and appreciate you guys because I am so grateful for your continued support. You guys are amazing. You are so good to me and I just wanna give back to you guys. So with that giveaway, not the 300 one, we're just going to call it the appreciative giveaway. Um, you guys are just, there's going to be two winners is what I'm trying to say. There's going to be two winners. And I guess one could be considered the grand prize winner and then the other one will just be, you know, a winner. Now, it's not really anything too different and crazy. It's just the grand prize winner is going to get a bigger item than the regular winner. But I am so excited and happy that I am able to pick two winners. And I want to go over the rules really, really fast because again, I'm not going to make anything crazy. I know some people don't have all social medias and I know that some people, they just, they're on YouTube and that's it. So all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel. That is it. And on the giveaway video, when I post it, you have to leave a comment in the comment section so that I can see that you are watching my video. And that video will be up probably next week, maybe the end of this week, but more than likely next week because I am still getting everything together and I did order a few small things from Shop Miss A to put in there. 
So that is the giveaway that is coming up and I'm going to just end this video here and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I love you so much. If you are new here, I hope you will consider subscribing and becoming a part of our little family. And if you have been with me from the beginning, just know I love you so much and this giveaway coming up is for you. So I love you guys and until next time, bye guys.